In this video, we will learn how to install Manum on M1 and M2 computers with Ventura. I don't know if this installation is still valid for Intel processors. If you have questions you can go to the Manum server on Discord. I'm going to assume you have basic knowledge of how to use the terminal. If you don't know how to use it, please take a quick course. We are going to use the official documentation as an installation guide. The first thing to install is Homebrew. This program is a package manager. It allows us to install new programs from the terminal. We can install it from the official page of Homebrew. Copy this command and paste it in a terminal. Enter the password and press enter to continue with the installation. Wait until the process is finished. The next step is to add Homebrew to the path. Copy the command that indicates us here and we test that Homebrew works. The next step is to install the Manum dependencies. Open a new terminal, just to be sure that everything restarts correctly, and proceed to install the packages with Homebrew. This can still take a while. We notice that this command has installed Python version 3.11 on top of everything else. You can have several versions of Python installed simultaneously. Once you have installed all the dependencies we proceed to install Manum. I will create a folder where I will install several versions of Manum. The current version of Manum is 0.17.2, so I will create a folder where I will install that version. Before installing Manum, you have to install Virtual Environment. Let's install Virtual Environment this way, to make sure it is installing for this specific version of Python. The next step is to create a virtual environment. This command will create a folder with a new isolated Python environment. To activate the virtual environment, just use this command. We can notice that to the left of the prompt this text has been added. Virtual environments are very useful, as they allow us to install multiple versions of a project, or several different projects without conflicting dependencies. To deactivate it, we use the command deactivate. I will explain in more detail what virtual environments do. If I run this command, we notice that it doesn't even recognize the command. It only recognizes Python 3. If we look for executables with the name Python, we see that there is none in the path. If we activate the virtual environment, we can see that the Python command is now recognized. And we can also get the path to the executable with the where command. We notice that this executable is inside the vend folder, which has been created when we created the virtual environment. With the virtual environment activated, we can install Manum with pip. If this error appears to you too, then install this other package with Homebrew, this should fix it. Perfect, the error is gone. Let's check that it has been installed with some test code. This code here has several test scenes, let's try to render some of them. Perfect, Manum has been installed correctly. However, 
For now we cannot render animations with LaTeX since we have not installed it. Here we have to make a decision, install the full version of LaTeX which weighs 4 GB or install only the packages needed to use Manon. If we want to install the full version, we simply download this package and install it like any other program. In case you want to install only the necessary packages and save space, you should install the basic version of LaTeX and then manually install the packages. Install this package and then follow the instructions that I explained in this installation video on Windows using the terminal. Finally, we move on to install VS Code, which is installed like any other package. Let's open this folder in VS Code to configure it. We see that the terminal does not recognize the code command, so we proceed to add it. In the official page, it tells us the command for ZSH and Bash, I am using ZSH, so this is the one I am going to use. We proceed to install the necessary plugins. It seems that VS Code does not recognize the commands. We can configure this in the bottom right of VS Code. Here we have to select the virtual environment we have created. And that's it, we have finished installing Manim. It may be that the OpenGL version is not working properly. If you get this error, it is most likely because modern GL is not fully updated for the latest version of Python, so we have to install a previous version of Python. In my case, I'm going to install Python 3.10 and downgrade modern GL to a version that I'm sure works. And that's it, now it works. This may happen for later versions, so be careful. To finish the video, we are going to install ManimGL. I am going to install version 1.2, since it is the one I like the most. The installation is basically the same as ManimCE. We create a virtual environment, activate it, install the package, and that's it. This concludes the installation process. As a special offer, I remind you that you can buy my two professional Manum courses for only $50, that is, the basic and intermediate course. The basic course costs $30 and the intermediate course costs $40, but if you buy the bundle, you can get both courses together for only $50. In case you have already purchased the basic course and want to buy the intermediate course, you can use the coupon you see on the screen to get $10 off only the intermediate course. These offers will be valid until June of this year.